Hi, welcome back to Amber Brown's Tickle Pink. Last chapter, Amber's best friend Justin, who had moved to Georgia, has come to visit for the wedding, and Amber was very excited to see him again. Have you ever had a best friend that moved away? It can be sad. Now we're on to chapter 14. I hand Justin a big box. It's filled with glue and birdseed and glitter and rolls of ribbon and netting. What's this stuff for? You'll see, it's a surprise for the bride and groom. Take it out to Max's car. I carry my dresses on a hanger and covered by a garment bag. I give Justin the front seat, partly because I want to ride in the back to protect my dress, partly because I want to give Max and Justin a chance to get to know each other more. Aunt Pam leads the way. She hungs as she heads out with Mom. Mr. Daniel sticks his head out of the car and yodels. Justin rolls down his window and yodels back. We're like a caravan, I say to Justin. Well, except for the yodeling. The only thing missing is the camels. Remember when Mr. Cohen turned our classroom into a caravan, a caravan to Egypt? That was one of my favorites. Back in third grade, when Justin and I were still in the same class, we loved our teacher. He had us make passports and we took trips to countries all around the world. We got a stamp for every country we visited. We explain all this to Max. Well, this caravan is going to Camp Suckatucket, he says. Justin sticks his head between the seats so he can see me. Maybe they should call it Camp Booger Cucket, he whispers. I know he thinks I will laugh at this. And I kind of feel like I should, but even I, I feel like, but even more, I feel like I shouldn't. Justin looks puzzled and turns, so he's facing forward again. We get out into the country. Max says, You should have been with us the first time Amber brought us out here, Justin. Everything was a mix of snow and mud. We almost never get snow in Alabama. I miss it. My dad says that's because I don't have to drive in it. I look out the window. The cherry trees are covered with pink and white blossoms. The willow trees have turned that light green I love. Bright yellow patches of daffodils decorate many yards. I realize that I like living in a place with four seasons. When we pull into the narrow road that leads to Camp Suckatucket, Max shouts, look! He spots the car. Besides the road is a sign that says, Welcome to Sarah and Max's wedding. This makes it so real, Max says. Wait a second while I get a picture. He bounds out of the car. I bet Frederick and his father made that sign, I tell Justin. You think we should check it for Frederick's boogers? Max gets back into the car before I can say anything. That's probably good because I'm starting to get a little angry at Justin's jokes. When we pull up into the camp, the others are already there. Frederick and his father are standing with them. Mom runs to Max and hugs him. Did you see our sign? Wasn't it sweet? Mr. Allen was just telling us that he and Frederick made it. Justin pokes me in the ribs. I am about to tell him to cut it out. The booger jokes when Frederick shouts, Hey, Justin, I didn't know you were going to be here. Before I know it, Frederick is taking Justin and Danny down to the waterfront to show them the boats. Nobody even thinks to ask me. I said I remember they're boys. At least they're being friendly. I'm glad they like each other. They just can't like each other more than they like me. That's the end of chapter 14. See you next time.